All right, tell me when you're ready, then. Shoot. Mercedes. All right. We're back with the most authentic, most organic podcast out here right now. A Toast Light podcast. Let's go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Honestly, this just happened this week, but we got a legend, a young legend that's literally on our platforms right now, striving, being a king, living life the way it should be. We got Mr. Duno in the house. Yes, sir. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Y'all good? Oh, man. Good, bro. We got to start off. How in the hell did we even link up, bro? I'm, it's still biting If you want me to keep it a bug, I was at the gym, right? Because I've been on my way loud shit. I was at the gym. And then I seen that clip when you was like, I cried too. Like when you was getting all emotional. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, a part of me was like, damn, I understand that. But part of me was like, oh, he a fool. Cause <laughs> I, cause, <laughs> because, you know, it's like I, um, like being around, raised around women and shit. Like, like, like to me... I understand when people show their feelings and shit like that. Thanks. Or like guys at least, but other places, like damn fools are grinding me with this shit. Like catch on all feelings and they saw fucked with the video. And then I hit you up right away. I, I went to the IG, I went to the gram. It was like during like a fucking squat set. So like I finished <laughs> squatting, it was my turn. I was trying to change the song. I always like randomly go on TikTok and shit. I was like, damn, I fuck with this shit. And then right away, fucking um some girl, some girl I know, she was like, that's my homie. Oh, I know, I know yeah, who. You know? Yeah, yeah, I know who. <laughs> yeah. Shameless plug, bro. Shameless plug. <laughs> yeah, and then he was like, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to lock in with bro this week. That's easy. Yeah, literally, I mean, obviously, this weekend is Easter Sunday for yeah. all the rabbits out there. Yeah, for all the rabbits. It. Yeah, facts. <laughs> <laughs> but we're like, all right, we're just going to chill it. We're not going to do anything. And then that message hit, hit them up. I was like, yo, we're going to run it. Yeah. So right. when we locked it in, I did shout out uh, Daily Planet Barbershop, my boy Aldo in here, Flayin has used his space. Shout out my guys. Um. I told, we locked it in even before we locked it in with uh, him. So you was just like, fuck, I'm a wing it. I was like, no matter what happens, we got to make this shit we gotta happen. We got to make it happen, yeah. dude, you're a busy dude. Hell yeah, man. I've been killing it lately. It's been going crazy. You're on No Jumper. You're no jumper. on, what is it, Brown Bag? Brown Bag. Yes, sir. And then Cheese Man with Duno. And then Cheese Man with Duno. We're going crazy, yeah, man. So let's let's start off with how did No Jumper come into your life and how did it change your life? Can we bro? get a shot real quick? Oh. Yeah, come on. We got it. Yes, I sir. Up a little bit. I just finished eating. I got to Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Here, first one. Oh, yeah, yeah, come you, on, come on. You tell me when. Right there, Shmoo, right there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yes, sir, because it is a toast to life, so we're going to. Yes, sir. We've been obviously Cheers, 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 everybody. Cheers. Toast to life. everybody, toast cheers to everybody. Right. Yes, sir. Cheers. Appreciate you. <sighs> hey, that's just smooth. Fuck with it, the rock. Yeah, I fuck with it. That's just smooth. So as well, if you're bro. in your gym grind, this is it. This is oh, where you gotta go. Right there. Okay, yeah, no carbs. No carbs. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna be looking buff by the time we're done with it. Exactly. So again, how did no jumper come into your life? Um, well, bro, I was just doing my shit really. Um, and so I did an interview with Adam. Shout out to the homie Rosecrans Rick. He had a show at the moment. It was called Matt Lately. It was him, Gina Views, and the homie Good Morning Gabe. They was doing their shit, just but that show didn't fit on no jumper like it just didn't make sense they ended up um um fucking discontinuing the show but the homie Vic kind of pitched me to Adam Adam interviewed me and during the interview we were just talking we was talking and then um I made fun of Adam he made fun of me he was kind of <laughs> going back and forth yeah 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 it was just kind of one of those things and then um uh fucking a little wall passes by and then the homie Josh he he kind of like there's a lot of the behind the scenes for no jumper yeah he's like hey man we want you to try this show woo woo so fuck it, I tried to show with um with fucking with with fucking house phone. So I'm my house phone. And it didn't work. We did like two, three pilots. Shit never happened. I was still like on way mode or whatever. And then um fucking and then like yeah, time went by. That was like December. It, we were in January, March, and then like around March. So we passed January, February, March. Um Adam hit me and was like, hey, bro, you want to come do the Tuesday show? And I was like, hell yeah. So I literally... Without a doubt. Yeah, literally, I, I don't even live far from the from the studio. Got ready, want to go do my shit. He texted me, like, we, we, we a little back and forth or whatever. And then um, I seen Adam's post. So Adam was supposed to do the Wednesday show, which is the show I'm officially on now at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he got sick. And he posted it, like, the show starts at 6. Adam posted it, like, 5.30. I was like, hey, fuck, make it. What's up? And he's like, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. So AD was like, pull up. 
So Adam posted on the story, like, I'm sick today. I got a headache. I'm not going to be able to make it. And I was like, I'll pull up. So I literally got ready in like 10 minutes, Burbank, <laughs> food, whatever. <laughs> Hopped in the whip. I drove, shit, I drove to Burbank, smashed. I got there like 6'10. The show did hella good, bro. We went crazy. The fans fucking loved it. Everybody yeah. enjoyed the show. Whatever, I didn't think much of it. They need a new host. They had a certain situation where this host left, this person didn't work. Um, a, a, and then it was just AD and T-Rail. And then we went to, fuck, fuck, where did we go to Houston, Jakarta? We went to Houston. We was in Houston. Yeah. We was in Houston. We fucking, um, shit, we fucking, we were in Houston. We want to go turn up real quick. I got booked out there. Shout out to Hungry Yaya. I got booked. We turned up literally for 12 hours. We landed. We, went to, we got a quick little hotel. We chilled for like two hours. We want to go eat. Came back. Started turning up, went straight to the club. From the club, went straight to the strip club. We're there till like 5, 6 in the morning. Caught an Uber from the strip club all the way back to Houston Airport. We're the first one probably at the airport. Swear to God, no cap. We was at the airport. We all fucking octo crew. At the moment, I still didn't drink. That same day, it was like a blessing in disguise, bro. I got off the, we got off the um, LAX. The homegirl scooped us up, dropped off at the homie Dennis crib, and then... AD and Adam called me back like, hey, bro, we want you to officially be a part of the end of the day. And I'm like, oh, hell yeah. And that same day at the moment, the girl I was with, um, it was my birthday that week. Yeah. I had just turned 21. Shit. So that week, fucking, these fools are like, nah, we're busy, fool. We don't want to kick in. <laughs> but my essential, the essential thing was that I was supposed to go to Santa Barbara with my girl at the moment. And then she's like lagging it the whole night. I'm like, bro, how long are we supposed to get to Santa Barbara? <laughs> I saw up, they have a big ass party for me. Surprise, crazy. It was, so it was like it was like perfect timing, bro. But like, can we give you the flowers? I mean, at twenty one, getting signed to No Jumper, we got to give you the flowers. Oh yeah, so appreciate we gotta, you. We got to give yeah, it up. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure I was probably the like the youngest to ever be part of the team and shit. I feel like you're the youngest doing it right now. Oh yeah, appreciate you're, you, my guy. I, Thank you. I seen when you guys went out to New York, and that was a movie. Oh, that I, was amazing. I finished the vlog for your birthday, your last one. That was I. I was watching that. I think it was like at nine in the morning. I felt like I was partying with you. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. I was like, that shit's lit. Man, we went crazy for my birthday. So getting signed, how did it change your life? I mean, it's kind of more like a job. Like it's it's there's not there's not like actual real paperwork, but I am a huge part of the team. Like I'm blessed right now. I got the end of the day. And then we just started our food show. Yeah. yeah. So our food show did amazing. Twelve thousand likes in under twenty four hours. Yes, sir. We went fucking crazy with the food show. We did amazing. It was like dope. It was something I I like had planned, and then and the conversations were brought up during at the end of the day, and then me and AD kind of executed. Shout out no jumper. Shout out Adam. Shout out Josh. Shout out Jason. Trevor. They fucking gave us a green light on it, and we fucking just damn. We, man, we do. Man, we just filmed our first. Our, we dropped our first episode, and hey. it was a blessing, bro. Shit. So I want to take it back. Just a couple years before all that happened, I know a little bit that. You got locked up when you were younger. Mm -hmm. You grew up in L.A., born and raised, right? Yeah, yeah, born and raised downtown L.A., Echo Park area. So the statistics and everything, obviously, it's sometimes, most of the time, stacked against us. Oh, yeah. To make obviously. it out, make noise, be a positive influence. And even though you're, some people think maybe you're just partying too much living life, yo, you're still doing it. And you're being a voice and a, and a vision for all the young ones that are trying to make noise. 100%, right? yeah. At what point in your life... Maybe high school, maybe right after, did you were like, yo, I don't want to be just another statistic out here. I mean, to be honest, bro, I didn't get my life figured out probably till I turned probably like a year ago, bro. Like, people, that's because I think, like, exactly, like, like, so you do this, right? Correct. So people probably only know this. Correct. They don't know that you do a lot of things behind the scene. Right. So when people see my vlogs, they probably go like, man, this fool's a fucking alcoholic. Like, <laughs> all he does is drink and woo woo. And I'm like... Nah, bro, like, literally, like, the poet, my barber, but he also one of my good best friends. Jakarta, the homie, but he also one of my good best friends. You ask him, any, bro, I don't drink. I don't drink Sunday through Thursday. I don't drink. Yeah. I don't drink. Really, I, he doesn't? No, I, huh, I don't drink Sunday through Thursday. Especially unless, not now with this cut, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for, <laughs> unless I'm booked. Yeah. Unless I'm booked, I'll drink. Like, if on a Thursday, I got to go do a club or something, then mandatory, right? But other than that, I don't drink. But, yeah, I mean... Becoming a statistic is just, like, you understand. It's just part of life. Like, you don't, I don't think, I'm, and everybody right here, I don't see not one white person behind these these cameras. Everybody here has been through the same shit. Like, even yeah. the girls, like, yeah. you're, like, 
Bro, like an example for girls. Like, bro, I went to a white school where I seen white girls wear booty shorts. The minute a Latina wore it, it was like, oh, you're like, the, oh, for you gotta go change or get something from the Lost Nevada. And it was yeah. like, damn, that's real. Like that fast. And I yeah, think yeah. for Latinos, it was the same thing. Like, I think all the, all, and, and not just for any person of color, like, bro, you deal with the same, we all deal with the same bullshit. Like, yeah. I think it's just the perspective of how you deal with it. Yeah, 100%. And yeah, it, it's really how you carry yourself. Cause I know a lot of people that made their way to fucking, to fucking um like out like to not get it stuck in the system, but honestly I wouldn't. I'm, I'm gonna keep it a buck. Like go for it. A lot of the shit I did, I did it for. Like <laughs> like when I was younger, like I I was tagging and doing dumb shit. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. you feel me? Like if I got caught, I'm stupid. You know what I mean? But as I get older, you like you feel me? Like so how do you carry yourself now? Now you oh yeah now I'm this like platform. way more mellow. Yeah like I don't got time to go tag food. Like, <laughs> like bro like man I'm over here getting movie roles. Like, oh, like, 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 I'm out here getting emails at fucking 9 a.m. Like, we want you to audition for this shit. What the fuck am I doing <laughs> tagging, <laughs> like, the night before, you feel me? Like, yeah, yeah. or, like, even dumb shit, like, like, I'm not, I'm, I'm not doing stupid shit no more. Like, yeah. like, I'm not out here trying to, like, one time I was with the homies and they were like, damn, we could look here right now with the pack. <laughs> and I'm like, motherfucker, they just pay me this much to party. I'll pay for this shit. Yeah. Like, you know, so it's like, yeah, like, little shit, but... Yeah. Now, like, I'm so much more, more like, my my head is, like, I'm on a business aspect, bro. Like, I'm trying to make money. Facts. Like, I'm really, t- real life, trying to break the circle, you know what I mean? Like, like, is... Is there if, is there a phrase that, that you, remember, like, remind yourself by, you remember? Because, again, like, I think, and not, not just because you have the platforms that you're in right now, mm-hmm. but there's a lot of people that look up to you in ways that, yo, like, hey, this guy is making it. How can we do it to make it? So, yeah. it's, like... People want to pick your brain. I want to pick your brain. We all want here want to pick your brain. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, I don't think there's a specific, uh, a fucking specific phrase. Yeah. But one thing I do tell people is to cherish the people around you. So on, I have this thing, bro. My manager can tell you anything. I'll call him right now. On Sundays, I don't do nothing unless the bag is worth it. On Sundays are my homies' days. It's where I go to the homie Sovic's house. And we sit there for hours and bullshit and talk shit and slap each other and, and play fight. And on Sundays, we, we meet up at the homies' dinner's house and we each of each and just argue all day and play banquito or we play dice. Like, <laughs> What do you guys argue about? Like, oh, it's stupid shit. Like, <laughs> oh, you fucking, like, he pulls a barber, right? So he'll be like, oh, your line's still there, fool. <laughs> like, and then he'll start arguing with this homie. And then it's just, we enjoy ourselves, bro. Like, I, I, I tell people to enjoy the people, like, them. Jakarta make music, so obviously people see him around. Yeah, Jakarta's. Wait, I actually, because what like following your stuff. Yeah, yeah. I found his page. Yeah. And then just started fucking with it too. I was like, dude, like, and my thing was, and maybe you you can obviously you can relate. Yeah. When you move in power, mm. meaning everybody that's around you has a role and does their own thing away from you. 100%. So when you move together, you guys are some bad motherfuckers. Oh no, yeah, hundred percent. And it's like it's one of those things where like. Jakarta didn't ask me for nothing. I was just like, my manager had a studio. I was like, I want to drop a tape with the homies. Jakarta came, he had a good song. I was like, oh yeah, keep doing this shit. Yeah. And obviously whatever I could help with, with, whether it's him like being part of the vlogs or shit like that, you know what I mean? So I, do you ask any, did at one point when you started getting that recognition, people wanted like more from you? Like, like, like in a selfish way? Um, yeah, like I think when somebody starts to make some noise, getting some light, people want to like, oh yeah, I've always supported you, but in the back of their, like, before you knew it, like they were always like, "Oh yeah, nah, yeah, this man, we were just having this conversation." I've gotten a lot of the, I've gotten a lot of the, damn, but you can't take me, damn, but you can't take me, yeah. And I'm like, no, I can't. <laughs> but but like all my real real good homies, they don't give a fuck. Yeah. Like my, cause a lot of like 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 I was saying like, um, Jakarta and them are basically they're part of the industry now, I guess you could say. So they're more on the scene. But like my best friends, like my best friends, best friends, like Andy Sovic. Allison, Steph, Jerome. And I always mention them because they keep me sane, bro. That's like, dope. when I'm going through some mental shit, that's who I go hang out with. Whether we go to we go bowling or we go play basketball at Pan Pacific. Like, whatever the fuck we do, they keep me sane. We laugh about shit we went through in high school and all that. But um, they don't give a fuck. My real friends don't care. Yeah, they don't care they'll, about Like, like certain name. cool shit. Like, yeah. like, today I'm hosting a dope-ass club. Yeah, and yeah. they'll text me, like, can I come? I'm like, fool, don't ever. I, I, it gets me mad that they ask me. Like, yeah. motherfucker, you're a part of my life. Yeah. You're the reason, you're the weird, you're one of the reasons why I am who I am today, bro. You could come to anything. Um, is, can you count with 
your hands, how many people, because of them, you are who you are? Oh, yeah, 100%. I, I, I probably, too, too I, anymore, anymore. Anymore? Yeah, because I'm, I'm not one of those ones like, oh, I only have two real friends. No, I have a lot. <laughs> I have a lot. Like, yeah, like, I hate that fucking but saying. I, I, how many people were at your, at your birthday bash? That was. Oh, yeah, but not everybody's my best friend. Like, <laughs> yeah, a, a lot of them are acquaintances. Like, a lot of them, like, there's a couple little bitties there, you know what I mean? Like, bitches bring bitches, you know what I mean? But, like, like who, like, like, there's, like, so, like, there's a lot of people that I've met through fucked up times like me and jakarta met through uh one of our really good friends dying in 2018 which is when i stopped drinking and that's why me and, ja me and jakarta probably met both like at our worst in our life that was, i was going through depression mental like i was just not having a boy i was having anxiety i was out of school i was fresh out of a breakup you know the high school sweetheart so, breakup boy i was going through i it. was gonna marry you and yeah, now I was i'm gonna, not gonna marry you i was no gonna more. give her the world boy <laughs> Did she hit lie. you back up though? Nah, fool. <laughs> See, that's why. I, that's why I know she real boy. She don't care about none of this shit. Cause I see in your vlogs, you always say, "Oh, my ex is here." Oh yeah. Oh, that's one of them. Oh yeah, yeah. That's the homegirl. I said, like Camila. That's my guy. That's that, so so like she was like my eighth or tenth grade. Okay, okay. Like boo, and then I have, and then I had my like like ten and a half through like yeah. twelve, which was like damn, like I was in love with my life. She called me right now. I'm leaving. Okay. <laughs> nah, just get it. <laughs> he, he ain't wherever he's gonna go host, he ain't gonna ho go host it today. You got somewhere to go. So now when this airs, people are gonna see like, oh shit, this will really deals with real life shit, right? You're still you're a real person. hundred percent. The whole thing about this podcast is to give the light and shed the light to the person behind outside the camera. Yeah, yeah, of course. So when you go through those fucking times, what do you tell yourself? Um my like, I'm blessed with a with a with a really dope supportive mom, bro. Like, shout my, out your mom. Yeah, yeah. Shout yeah, out my shout mom. Out. She, my like, that's honestly like my thing is like, cause are for your parents are immigrants. Uh, no, they're born and raised here. Came from over there, but they had, came raised uh, here. Yeah, so yeah. like, my mom knows no English, fool. Like, trying to explain to her that my boss I know jumper does porn. It's very difficult, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, like trying to explain to my mom that I go to the club and get paid. She's like, so you okay. don't pay for nothing? I'm like, no. She's like, why? Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, damn, it's like, or like, when I started getting booked, she's like, where are you going? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I got to go here, here. And she's like. What did she say about your birthday party? She was there, no? Oh, oh, yeah, my mom. Oh, but my mom's always been cool. Oh, okay, My mom's okay. always been like, like, like. She my never mom, told you, like, mijo, para de tomar. Parale. My Take mom, a step back. My mom, I think now she sees it. Like, yeah, like, nah, cause it was bad, fool. Like, <laughs> we're doing beer runs and like running to the house and like getting the knives to cut the little emergency locks off. <laughs> and she used to catch it and just be like, Otra vez. But her thing was always like, if you're gonna drink, drink here. Yeah. Obviously, like, she shouldn't be letting her kid drink, but she works seven days a week, 24 hours. Damn. Like, she can't hold my hand the whole time, you know what I mean? Back. So, like, when you know how people be like, it's because when I was going through at home, like, nah, fuck that, fool. Like, yeah, I had a piece of shit, drug addict dad. But my mom was a great mom, fool, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, my mom, like, if, bro, like, now that I be making money and living good, bro, like, and and, and I'm not even near to what the fuck I want to be. But, like, like I'd be like, damn, I didn't understand the the, the behind-the-scenes shit of, of what my mom was going through because I was young. Yeah. I'm her only boy. That's the biggest she thing. She wasn't trying to put me on no stress. Yeah. But, like, I remember I used to be like, damn, you can't give me five bucks? And it's like, <laughs> damn, nah, I be paying for hella Ubers. <laughs> More be, than five I, bucks. Like, everyone, like, I ain't yeah. gonna lie, every check I get, I always, fuck, guarda me esto, esto es para ti. Yeah. We, we good now, I could, like, you feel me? Like, I could move out if I want to. But nah, bro, me, me and her living together, lavish, jeez. That's fucking shit. We chilling together. She yeah. cook. <laughs> she washes. I pay for the wash. Yeah. I drop her off, bring her back. That, I think that's the biggest thing that yeah. right now, our, where our parents came from, I mean, my parents are from Michoacan. Mm. Where, where's your mom from? El Defe. Shit, okay, sick. <laughs> but, but, but. My boy Dylan right here. Yeah, there yeah, we go. But, but her blood is Michoacana. My, for my mom's white, like Verita. There we go. For Michoacan. <laughs> Michoacan El Defe. <laughs> Damn, I like that alcohol. Here we go, big guy. This is all you. This is all you. Yeah, oh, yeah, my God. We're drinking it. Yeah, so, yeah, she's dope, though. So, so, back to it. So, our parents, and even me right now, we're doing here, and she's always like, even my dad. My dad's, he has his own business out of, like, ten brothers and sisters. He's the only one doing it. So, when I told him, yo, I'm going to do a podcast, but mijo, 
¿Cuánto te paga? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm yeah. like, hey, not right now, but it's going to. Oh, 100%. Like, it's going to. The whole dream is going to pay off. And I showed my mom the numbers today, TikTok blowing up. And she was just like, I was like, always, <laughs> yeah, always. But now with the whole, you're fucking progressing. Yeah, yeah. So let's talk about, let's shed light to your co-host on, on Brown Bag. Oh, yeah, How man. is that fucking vibe, bro? That shit is always on the fucking streams, on on IG. Yeah, man. The the Man, I just want to give a big shout out to Letty. If you guys don't know, she used to be Ricky back in the day. She probably from y'all era. Y'all a little older. I just turned 22. But I'm going to keep it a bug. I didn't know who she was, bro. <laughs> she used to be with Big Boy, fool. Like, I know her voice. Yeah. But when I met her, I didn't know who she was. And it was kind of weird. Like, she was like, I fuck with you. Like, and she showed a hell of love. Like, this, I'm talking about somebody that was on tour with J. Cole, friends with Kendrick, all these. And she and came up to me and to was you. like, whoop, whoop. Um, and, and she just became like an older sister, like my OG, fool. Awesome. Like, Dope. put me up on game and was never a hater, always supports. What's one thing that she taught you or has been teaching you? Whatever it is. Shit, podcasting, food, that shit hard. <laughs> people, people only see you on camera. Yeah. <laughs> they don't know that, yo, you and your team arguing about how much content you're going to drop. Hey, or sometimes you fuck up audio. Hey, the camera was too shaky. Yeah. She taught us how to make content, food. She's a beast, dog. Like that carne asada, that carne asada Nino rival shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't, I would have never <laughs> thought of that, fool. She came up with that. It's just like. I seen you guys posted today. You guys had some fucking 40s in hand the other day. Yeah, we drank some 40s, dog. <laughs> I had to drink that shit in a minute. I had to bullshit this shit over this real quick. That's about hella flashback. Me passing out in alley this shit. I was oh, like, oh, yeah. All right, was, so you're bringing this up. The craziest shit you ever had. 40s? Happened to you. Damn, I did in a lot general, of shit. In general. In oh, general. Craziest shit ever. I think, so. So, bro, we used to rack Smirnoffs. <laughs> Think about that, bro. Like, see, everybody laughed. That shit's disgusting. But I was like 14 with the homie Jor. I love my, I love my boy Jor to death. Homie Buddha. We used to fucking go rack fucking Smirnoffs and get fucking wasted. And one time, so I was always like the fucked up kid dating the good girl. So the girl that I talk about on my vlog that be coming out. Yeah. Yeah, me, she could tell you this story. I swear to God, anything I love. She, she was a cheerleader. So I was like the fuck up dating the cheerleader. You know what I mean? I'm knocking on the baddie. Yeah. Right? <laughs> you know what I mean? So so she um she had a game. We was kind of like in talk, but she was like, you gotta show yourself more. You gotta prove to me that you want me. So I was like, I'm gonna go to the football game, go watch your cheer. I got you. Maybe <laughs> scream, come, you feel me? How you feeling? You know how and then the cheerleaders turn around and do their little bullshit. Do the whole little signs and the shit. Weekend fuck, that shit was horrible. <laughs> yeah, but I pulled up, I didn't even make it on time. I was too drunk. I pulled up. I'm leaning against the. Um, everybody's getting out. It's a homecoming game. They play Royal Ball. At the moment, I was going. I wasn't going to school. But at the moment, I was like, <laughs> I was trying. Bro. I was yeah. trying to go to school. You were trying. That's yeah, all that yeah. counts. You were trying. Yeah, that's, I was trying. But <laughs> that's you know what I So, whatever. I'm like outside of the school, and I'm like leaning against the cop car. But nothing crazy. It's just they're all parked right in front, and I'm waiting for her to come out. You feel me? I was gonna do some like cute shit, hug her, you know. I love you. You know, you know, you. yeah, yeah. Great yeah. job. I ain't never gonna stop loving you, bitch. You know? <laughs> so whatever, I'm trying to do my shit. And the cop, the cop, the cop comes up to me and goes like, "Hey, get off!" And I'm like, "Fool, you could have like, hey, bro, I'm leaving." Yeah. You feel me? Like I ain't breaking no law, not yet. No, yeah. <laughs> but like, he's like, "Get off!" And I'm like, "Bro, what the fuck?" And I'm like, "Bro, you could have said that nicely." Yeah. And he's like, "What? Stop right there!" So the, this this cop, one of the school cops, he knows me. Bro, he caught me with a Sunny D. He one time I had a big ass Sunny D food. Half of it was full of smearing off way. I was drunk and he he took that shit from me. He didn't arrest me, but he's like, bro, he's like, you either leave right now, like leave school, fool. And or I'm gonna have to arrest you. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm out of here, boy. Don't even worry about me. I didn't even want it. He's gonna have it. Shit. So he was like, hey, he's calling up my real name. And I'm like, hey, bro, let me go. I'm gonna spit at you, fool. Swear to God, 14 years old. I'm like, let me go. I'm going to spit at you. He like, spit at me. N fool, noogie, fool. <laughs> I get down. Boom. I get beat up in front of everybody, fool. Uh. They arrest me. They do the most. I got to go to. She's crying, screaming. Oh, my God. Fool, yeah. the homie Joey's trying to hop into his, hit the cops. His mom <laughs> stopping him. It was all bad, fool. So. That's probably one of the craziest shit I did drunk, like young drug and shit. God. I spit at that Fugacho though, fool. Like, <laughs> you were like, say, what'd you say? No, okay, say I told less. him, I'm like, bro, let me go, I'm gonna spit at you. He's like, do it. I'm like, all right, bitch, watch. <laughs> Trust and then I seen, him, I seen him years later, like, cause I ended up, I ended up doing that shit, 
whatever. I got. I'm, I, I moved schools. I ended up starting good, getting into juvenile hall system. Boom, 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 boom. So I seen him like a couple years after, like my my senior year. Yeah. He was driving in, and and then he he kind of like he was driving in. I was passing by, and he had stopped, and he was like, he called me, and I was like, what's up? He's like, you graduated. He's like, you seen it all right? I'm like, yeah. He's like, you graduated? I'm like, yeah. He's like. All right, man. And I was like, I was going to be like, yeah, bitch. You probably thought I wasn't going to. But I just kept walking. I was with my little, uh, fuck, I was with my little bitch at the moment. Like, we just kept walking, doing our thing and shit, you know what I mean? Sick. But yeah, I spit at that fugacho. Pobrecito. <laughs> it's him for life. Yeah. He's for sure going to remember that for the rest of his life. Oh, bro. To this day, me and, with me and my ex, when we like, because she's cool with my sisters and all the rest of the homegirls, so she'll come around every once in a while. We'll like talk about that shit. She'll be laughing and shit. I'll be drunk like shit. I was crying. <laughs> you know you love me. So let's talk about. Oh, go ahead. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. this shit, guys. Go ahead, go ahead. Let's talk about your circle. Let's talk about the importance of the people around you. Uh -huh. It's uh, como el dicho, like dime con quién estás y de quién eres. Uh -huh. You did that resonate with you? Uh, yeah, it's kind of like birds of a feather flock together type shit, right? Yes, sir. Something similar. Similar, yeah, yeah. Um, my group. Shit, I could. I you say I, I'll go one by one. If you want me to? I want yeah. you to do whatever. Fuck yeah. This oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Authentic, bro. This is this is us. This is on camera. This oh, yeah, yeah. Come on. So, there's the important people. So, shout out my manager, Cali. He been fucking with me since before. Like, I started going crazy, crazy. Did you know him before the whole Duno thing? or like? Nah, nah. I met him there, and, like, I just needed a manager, and he, like, took on the role. He's big on the... He's he's more known on the music scene. Yeah. And dealing with somebody that does comedy and, like, wants to act is very different than somebody that wants to rap. You can make a song right now, it could suck, but it go viral. Your whole life change. Yeah. I gotta put in work every like podcast, podcast. If I wanna act, I gotta know the right agent. So he took on that role and we we every year it gets better. Every year we progress, every year we get better deals, every year we do this, but he's been tugging it out, dog. <laughs> um Cali for show. Um all the homies that mostly people see, like other all other all ones I named before, like Andy, Alex, and Sovic and them. A lot of people don't see him on camera and all that, but they yeah, for sure, they're, like, they're my mental-wise and just making me feel like I'm still me and, like, keep me sane and, like... So how do they how do they check you? You keep bringing it up that they they, they help you mentally and emotionally. Mm -hmm. Like, how do they check you? Like, what is... I don't think checking is... Yeah, yeah, I, I guess you could say, but, like, with them, it's never, like... They don't care about the money. They don't care that I have a blue check. They don't give a fuck who I'm in, like... And, like, they'll ask me, like, every once in a while, right? So, like... The homegirl Val is a big Kuko fan. Mm -hmm. And she's not even, like, she's the homegirl, homegirl, but I met her when she got with the homie Sovic. Sovic's like one of my best friends. And I was like, yeah, come on, I'm gonna take you to the show. Yeah. And I took her to the show. Like, I'm able to do cool shit where, like, you know what I mean? So, like, they just keep me humble, bro. Like, that's what I go with. And, like, we bullshit and we, we can... talk we talk about life. And I'm I'm their kid's godfather. Oh, shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. like, I'm able to, like, do shit, cool shit. So that group right there is just, like, my everyday. They see me cry about shit. They've been with me through everything. Like, if I'm feeling down, like, I'll be like, nah, I want to kick what, it. What's the hardest hardest thing you personally had to live through, go through, witness, how, like, that changed you, like, forever? Again, this um, is because oh, no, people yeah, haven't really, I don't think people really seen the... Like, the emotional side? The emotional side. Yeah. I'll cry right here. Get yeah, yeah, we'll it we'll cry, we'll cry. Good content. Damn, so... The toughest moment in Duno's um, life. One of the fuck, like, man, I've had a lot, bro, but the hardest one, the hardest one that I just like, I think really real life opened my eyes was was um last year September, bro. I lost like my big brother, like, like real life, like, bro, like I was sad, fool. Like, I just got his whole fucking name blasted on my right side. Like, bro, probably one of the funniest person I've ever met. Other than me. <laughs> like, for real. Like, he real life, bro, like, used to come with the stupidest shit ever. Yeah. Taught me how to fight. Taught me how to play basketball. Taught me how to jump a fence. Taught me how to hit the bong. Like, real life, big brother, fool. Like, taught you everything. Taught me, bro. Taught Most me. Because, yeah. once, like, I was blessed to be raised in a block, but I was also raised to have people that were two, three years older than me, four years older than me. So I was always a baby. Like, they used to be like, stop being a bitch, fool. Like, don't cry, fool. Fight back. Like, <laughs> do this. Like, we're going to go do this. Don't run away. Like, 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 fool, don't fucking do that. Like, yeah. and, and he was always like, he was like that, but he was also like, fool, you can't do that way or do this. Yeah. And, um, fuck way. Just, um, 
well, shit, I'll give you the run now. Yeah, bro, just changed my life for real. Like, like in, in a sense to where, like, I don't always have to mention it, but people that know know how important yeah. he is and shit. And, um, so do you use that as fuel to strive for even better? Yeah, fool, but it really fucked me up, way. Like, if for, like, I was literally, pun knows, we're all chilling, fool, at the homie Sovic's house. And yeah, we're, we're about to go to Horror Nights. Like I said, I love spending time with my homies, like, yeah. and my homegirls. And we're like, we're on our way to Horror Nights. My phone's charging. Like, let's say we in the living room like this. And my phone's charging right there. Boy, little baby at the moment was going to scoop us up. He want to go do something. We're outside. I go grab my phone, fool. First message is a missed call from the homie Lucio. Second message is, hey, fool, Julio died. Oh, and I was like, what the fuck? I open it right away. I'm like, bro, shut the fuck up. Yeah. And then he's, I call him, and he's like, nah, fool, he's dead. And I'm like, get the fuck out. But at the moment, fool, like, I, you, you don't cry, bro. Like, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. If you're, but I didn't I, I didn't cry right there and there. Yeah, no, but no. I was like, how did I get out the way? I was like, nah, man, what the fuck? I was like, fool, take me to the house. He dropped me off, whatever the situation is. I was like, nah, get the fuck. Like, in my head, I was like, get the fuck out. But I'm like, fool, stop lying. Like, don't play like that. And I think when, when people hear that, they're like, bro, why would you see? Like, bro, like, you know, like, don't play <laughs> like that, fool. So yeah. I go to the park. He passed away. And. His family there, his body still laid out. And I'm like, fuck, like, but nothing's hitting right there and there. Like at the moment, you see, like I see his family, like we all grew up together, you know. So and and I'm horrible, fool. I don't know how to say like sorry for your loss. Like, that's so fucking it's like a, weird. It's like an awkward, bro. Yeah, it's an yeah, awkward like, type of and it's yeah, just yeah. like, and when you see like at least, at least like me, it was just like, so fool, like, damn, that's crazy. Like, that's all it was, right? Yeah. And you see his cousins, his tias, his primas, his Everybody. And they're going through it, fool. Like, everybody just, like, his mom comes up to me, like, his mom was, like, low-key in good spirits, but she still lost the son, you know? So she's yes. like, gracias por venir, mijo. She's like, um, si Julio me está yendo que eres famoso, like, real quick. And I was like, she has trabajando. She's like, okay. She went out, obviously, you know, she's getting, like, and I don't know if it's still not hitting right there and there. Yeah. Like, it's still not hitting. And then we go back to the block where I grew up. And I, we meet up with everybody that grew up right there. The 145 babies, Douglas babies. And we put candles and we just chill, fool. Like, everybody's just kind of like, it's fucking weird, fool. Like, and the month before that, I lost a really good friend. The homie Nevik, he overdosed. Shit. One of my other good friends. So, like, it was just like back to back on some drug related shit. Like, my dad's a drug. Like, it was weird, fool. Like, the way everything was playing out. Yeah, like, like, it didn't fucking hit me right away. The homie Nevik service is coming up. On a Monday, this happened, I can't tell you the exact day, but it happened before a Monday. And I don't know why, fool, but I go to the homie Nevik service, and I'm like, I want a drink, boy. I go buy a Don Julio bottle, I get cups, some ice, I go straight to the block, the building I grew up, the monster building. Everybody pulls up, the, you were there, boy? Nah, nah, yeah, 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 a little bit, yeah, yeah. But, but everybody pulled up, fool, like, because I'm the type that I connect friends, bro, like, That's... me and you, like, Fuck, yeah. you gonna come kick it with me and my other homies. Yeah. So then y'all could y'all make friends like that. Like, so, bro, that day I get drunk on, on Monday or a couple of days after, and I just cried, bro. I cried to all my homies. Everybody I mentioned to you, I cried, bro. I cried to the homie D. I cried, fool. Just, I sat there and, like, cause we're from El DF, so we grew up listening to, to rock in Espanol. Yeah. And there's a song called Barco Azul. And it just, and it's about life. Like, and fool, I just, that's all I did, fool, was just cry away. I just, that's I, I remember just crying, fool, like, for, like, two hours straight, fool. I played that song for an hour straight, fool, with my sister, the hunger Leslie, the homie Sexer, everybody, fool, everybody was just chilling, and I just cried, and and my boy was going through what he was going through, and I'm so busy doing this shit yeah. that I can't take everybody everywhere. Yeah. To this day, there's homies that I can't bring to this. They wouldn't know how to act. <laughs> and it was just one of those things where, like, you feel guilty that you're busy, fool. Like, I feel like, well, fuck, wait. Like, I should have just gone to the block when he hit me. Like, yeah. why was why didn't I go? But, like, fool, like, the guilt started getting to me, way. And then and then a little before that, I went through some shit where I ended up in the hospital. I seen that, And I yeah, couldn't yeah. eat for a couple weeks. So, fool, life was just hitting me hard, fool. Like, Blow after blow away, I was just like, nah, I was just, it was fucking with me, way. Well, let's toast to to your brother, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's come on, to your Julio, yes, sir, R. my R. God, P. cheers, there cheers, it is. cheers, That's cheers, paradise. appreciate y'all. But it hit me hard, fool, like, like I said, like, 
not you you get that guilt shit. I talked about this shit on the brown bag where, yeah. and like again, so I don't let the invic like real big bro, real big sis. Where like food, like I was like, man, I don't want to do shit. Food. So, like, so you mentioned you felt guilty. So do you feel guilty because you don't have time to be there, or do you start remembering like because you're doing this, you're paving the way to help a lot more people? Yeah, you start dealing with shit like it's tough. Yeah, like food, <laughs> like trust, boy, like. When I got that message, bro, like, like this was real, like, bro, to this day, fool. Like, I have a big ass portrait of him on my, like, a canvas. Shout out to Hunger Pastel, uh, amazing artist, she do this shit. Bro, I just look at that shit and just think about life, fool. Like, yeah. like, bro, like, after that, I wasn't trying to bullshit, fool. Like, like, bro, this was this was somebody that if the time came when they gave me a fat ass bag and they're like, who you who you, he's one he's like he's another one he's probably one of those people that you yeah you've never seen on the vlog. But if I was busy, he would always just text me, "Keep doing your thing, fat boy. Keep doing your thing, fat ass. Keep doing your thing." Like, yeah. bro, I was never a hater. The, fool. The, he didn't give a fuck. The, doesn't he, care how much money you have in your bank account. Didn't give a fuck, fool. That's Every time you'll shit. see me, he'll just talk shit. Yeah, <laughs> and just like, and it was just funny. I was like, man, fuck you. Yeah, that that's literally like today. Today in the morning. Obviously today we had we had you on and from the whole week I'm like I right, make sure everything's going correctly, yeah. you know because you there's I, to me there's a standard when everything uh, works out and today in the morning I literally have it in my drafts on TikTok. I my grandma passed away in 2021. My R. best R. friend R. appreciate you. My best friend passed away in October 10th, uh, suicide, and I'm right here watching the video I made and I'm just fucking crying. I'm like all right for you guys I got yeah, this. Yeah. The guilt, right? Because it was one of those things like, hey, I can't I can't be there right now. I got to go do this, yeah. but I'll be there once I can. So it's one of those things that it does hit hard. Yeah, 100%. It, because we feel like, yo, we got to be here, but we got to be here. But fuck, I got to be doing this. Nah, yeah. And it's one of those things where he did, he didn't want to come to this year. Yeah. He's like, food for what? I'm going to just go kick it. Yeah. But his kick it wasn't healthy, you know? His <laughs> kick it wasn't... Yeah. Wasn't the average person's kicker, you know? He was... Yeah. The homie was, was going through it, fool. And, like, as somebody that I'm, like, a big believer in, like, bro, people go through shit, fool. Like, do. and the hood is looked down upon, like, oh, you, fool, how are you depressed? So so give give your audience, our audience, mm. that are watching right now looking for that piece of advice, what can you yeah. tell them? I think, it's, I think it's important to talk about your feelings. Do it with the right person. Do it with the right people, like... Like, like, and, and the homies know about this, bro. I'm a real emotional ass fool. I'm a Pisces way. I'm emotional, dog. Like, I be, I, I be mad. I'm a Scorpio, I be, so I'm toxic. Yeah, I'm toxic <laughs> as a motherfucker, boy. Like, like, but a lot of this shit is real life, like, important, bro. Like, yeah. if you're going through some shit, like, obviously, like, you know, bro, you've lost somebody to suicide. Like, yeah. fool, that shit is, fu like, fool. It's fucked. Like, bro, that shit is fucking crazy. L literally like, in that same, uh, uh, episode that you saw, it, it was a snippet, but I talk about it like, yo, we've been doing all this, trying to help out everybody, and the one person I felt like that needed the help, I couldn't. So it's like, yo, and it was the same thing, got the call, and it, it was, it's weird because how you said, you're on your way, we're on the way to a fucking uh, off-roading show, we're gonna meet everybody, uh -huh. call my boy, hey, yo, I'm on my way, hey, Cheeto's dead. Yeah, I'm, like, she, like, I'm like, stop bullshit, I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Cheeto's dead. I'm like, I'll be there right now. Sat there, sat with everybody. Yeah. Nothing, nothing. And it, and it wasn't until, like, a couple days later when I'm literally on myself, had tequila, and I was just like. Yeah, well, that tequila gets you your feelings, <sighs> It does. It does. It gets you through everything. And then, and then, and then, the homie didn't even drink tequila, but I had to drink that shit for boy. Oh, uh, no, nah, he, he's yeah. a Victoria type of dude, so yeah. I we always <laughs> pour out some Victoria. But yeah. for you, for me, and everybody watching that that is trying to beat those odds, like, Yo, we are the voyage to what people one day imagine we they could be doing. Nah, yeah, hundred percent. Like, like that shit just taught me a lot, fool. Like it's like, yeah. damn, like, like. So now your biggest motivation, what the fuck is it? I think he's for sure like a big part of it. I, that's I think his his just his 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 life, his smiles. I I, I remember all that shit. His 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 laughs. My mom's a huge. But my, but my mom's like hella dope now about the shit. Like she sees it. Yeah, she sees the vision. At first, I like, I look, so, 
Real quick, back like four. I tried. I tried college twice, boy. That shit didn't work. <laughs> How long did you go for? A fucking like hour away. And be, I think <laughs> so, be, besides Angela, besides my girlfriend Brittany, and I think Aubrey's back in school. Like none of us went to school. Bro, I tried this shit. So right after high school, I tried. I went for an hour. I was like, damn, this shit gonna be difficult, boy. I was about to say, I went two years. I still didn't graduate. No, still bro, done. bro, bro. They, bro, they write the curriculum for the for the year. I said, damn. I'm like, I'm bro. like, we don't got no tutoring in this is, bitch. Is this the syllabus? This is like, gonna pay for everything. <laughs> oh no, yeah, no. And I was no. like, and I was like, bro, my mom clean houses. She can't pay for this shit. FAFSA, FAFSA, I was gonna spend this shit. I know me, bro. I did. I, did? I, I we got Strip FAFSA, it? and I'm just like, damn, I got two thousand Hong Kong. Who? We went to... <laughs> <laughs> no, bullshit aside, I've never said this before on camera. We got... I We get hit 2,500, 2,000. Carnaval. My cuñado right now, we, we used to go pick him up. Carnaval at 18. Pomona. Yes. We would... <laughs> fool. We would get the fucking... Bitch the, it. I'm already knowing, boy. <laughs> the, <laughs> Hey, I swear to God, I'm sorry, Brittany, you're here, but I'm really sorry. Wait, I would, I would wait, you used to just pop bottles? Nah, not even. We would get hotels for no reason. Oh, we do that to this day. No, so. I still do that. My mom at that time was like, oh, where are you going? I was like, I'm just going to, we have a tournament. We would play soccer. I was like, we have a soccer tournament in Bakersfield. We went to go play, but we came all the way back, got the hotel here at Home Depot, Went to Pomona, partied, came back to the hotel. Horny. Next, <laughs> <laughs> next, hey, seven, six in the morning, we had a game in Santa Barbara. Bro, you're like, this fool's a fucking maniaco. <laughs> I see him right now. He's just like, bro, he be like, I got a room. What you trying to do? I'm like, bitch, it's Tuesday. <laughs> like, I got a film tomorrow. I'll be over shit. Nah, but yeah, I tried it. I like, I went. The curriculum was crazy. I was like, and then college is difficult, fool. It's like, there's 30 rules for the same thing. They're like, go to A down the street, to the building, to the left, to the right upstairs, to go talk to the counselor. They're like, I'm not doing that way. No. I can't call them, motherfucker. <laughs> then you can't call them. And then they tell you, I don't have an appointment today. You got to come back next day. And I'm like, damn. So I tried that shit. I was like, nah, cool. So, I'm, so I was like, I, I was playing the, I ain't going to lie. I was capping like, so I went back to work in a poor local. I'm back at Puerto Loco, and I'm like, all right, college this time, boom. <laughs> Me and my mom moved closer. I'm like, cool, I'm going to go to L.A. Valley College, right? <laughs> like, I'm going to go to L.A. Valley College. Whatever, I want to do this, like, video camera thing. Yeah. For I go for 30, 45 minutes. I hop on the train. I get off right there, walk in, <laughs> hop back. Nah, yeah, the orange, the orange line. Oh, the orange she line. Knows it, she so, knows so it. So I'm waiting at the NoHo station. I got earphones on. <laughs> And I'm like, okay, yeah. What are you okay. bumping? What are you bumping? What am I bumping? I'll probably bump some like Corrillos and shit. Okay, okay. So I'm like listening. Cool, 2019. I'm like, okay, this is the year, you know? Yeah. Or college. <laughs> at least get my AA, <laughs> fool. Like, That's at least. Fool, I'm one class away from an AA. Oh, yeah, you got to go like, back, bro. They're like, why didn't you do it? I was like, fool, I literally went to class. She knows I went to class. I'm just like, dude, I'm fucking tired. <laughs> no, so I went to the shit. And then I was like. <laughs> I can't do this shit, boy. <laughs> and I just told my mom. And I bullshitted my mom the whole summer. Like, I was broke, food dead broke. Paul Loco, I'm getting paid like 600 every two weeks. What the fuck I'm going to do with 600 every two weeks? I ain't doing a dump. I'm spending the shit on Buffalo Wings with the homies, bowling. <laughs> and like, probably take a girl to you know? Like, that's it. Like, my check's done. I don't got shit. You know what I mean? You want so, the 10-piece or the 12-piece? I'm, I'm for sure getting like a 10. You got to go on a Tuesday, you get double, perro. Oh. You got to go on a <laughs> We have a week stop right there. We have we have a beat. Uh, yeah, we gotta go on a Tuesday or Thursday. So, bro, it's 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 wild. So, would you say the biggest teacher that you have now for business? What what would you say it is? Like the biggest lesson I have about business? Yeah, because right now you're and other platforms you are. Like, I don't think a lot of people know that you have to literally kind of know your shit to be able to withstand being in this type of fucking platform. Pay your taxes, boy. I gotta pay taxes this year. <laughs> I was like, I ain't never have to do that. I usually get money back. And they was like, I, I, man, I was right there with my tax guy. He was like, I was like, damn. <laughs> Are those numbers good? No, no, no. <laughs> and then we're counting how much I made this year. And I was like, I'm like, damn, two years ago I made like Just, 10 you, pence. Did you, you made over, <laughs> did you make over 50? Oh, yeah. Over I six? Made, uh, if I made over 100K last year. Oh, uh, my boy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. I was I was like, cause you know I'm fuck I'm, I'm legit fool. Like I got a, like a LLC and everything. That's so I'm like that's so I'm like, damn. 
I ain't never had to do this shit before. <laughs> I said, man, I never, man, I used to do my shit through TurboTax, bro. <laughs> you said I got to pay back? I was like, I got to pay back? He's like, yeah, fool, you made money. I was like. But they say if you had, for me, I got kids, so. Yeah. Oh, I don't kids, got kids, yeah, way. Dude, you get paid a lot. I know, I heard. You get, how many trainers pop I've out? I've been like raw dogging it lately, bro. <laughs> no kid, I'm trying to. I've been straight perreno so, right now. <laughs> so now that we're hopping into this, relationships. How's that for you? Damn, it's it's like Are we gonna, I tried it, I tried it, I tried it. Um, is it hard while, because like, of the platform? Like, while I'm doing my shit. Yeah, yeah. I tried it with a girl that I for sure. This thing I was hella corny, but <laughs> I for sure didn't deserve her. Ooh. Cause, cause I was like, like fool, like I'm out here wilding. Man. She the home texting me like good night, be safe, have a good flight. Love you. And I'm over here being a piece of shit with the homies, fool. Like, you know, <laughs> like dig, like. Like, yeah, it's yeah. like, bro, like, when people are like, because when I got into it, the homies were like, why'd you do that? We got to go here, the bitch is there. And I'm <laughs> like, I know, but like. So if he gets a girl, he kind of off the market, does it ruin the vibe? Uh, Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a piece of shit, way. But I'm like a sentimental piece of shit, like. Like, I'm sorry. Like, 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 fool, I'll give her the world. But I'm just still going to fuck around, you know what I mean? Like. Nobody gets treated like her 100%. Like, yeah. whatever she needs, I got. Like, we, like, this, she called me right now. Like, you know what I mean? But, yeah. like, like, I'm I'm big on, like, you never want to have some, make somebody look like shit. Like, and that's what that's one thing I'm not going to do, fool. Like, yeah. but yeah, I tried it. It was cool, but. Is it hard because of the platform you're in right now? And, like, oh, yeah. you don't see and the then, intentions, really, of, like, what yeah, they want fool, and stuff? like, like. Like, bro, like, like I said, like, growing up, I would have never thought where I'd be right now. So right. You, you get tempted. Like, there's temptations, bro. There's bad bitches waiting for you. <laughs> like, fool, how am I not going to turn on a Butona-ass bitch? Like, <laughs> like, fool, if I turn her down, I can never go back to the block. Yeah. Like, bitch-ass fool, why you ain't fuck, bro? <laughs> you know what I mean? They get like, on you. Know, you. fucking bitches at the hotel together. Like, we wildin' right now. If I don't got time to be in love, you feel me? Like, like, you know, like because. But do you want to be in love? A hundred percent. I'm a Pisces. <laughs> like, like, yeah, like, like, like. Shout out the Pisces. Like, like, I'm trying to be married, fool. Like, I'm a lover. Way I like getting my back scratched. Like, I like being cuddled. Cuddled, yeah. yeah like, it's I'm been a, a long day, baby. Like, so I'm a bitch, me. fool. Like, <laughs> like, come talk to me about my life. Like, let's watch a movie. Like, yeah. I like shit like that. But you know, like after 7 p.m. is crazy, bro. <laughs> Be f- sick from seven in the morning to six p.m. I love like you. like fool. I wish I wish I could be in a relationship where it's only valid from like Monday to Thursday. <laughs> like like Monday to Thursday. I love you. <laughs> hey, right now he's taking applications. Yeah, that's yeah. it. If you can go s- yeah, if, Sunday to Thursday. Yeah, yeah. You're if, good. if you went to Sunday to Thursday, unless there's uh, like an like, event or something. Yeah, the yeah. Ba- like, the like, bag is right. But other than that, I love you to death. <laughs> but like Friday through Saturday, I don't know you. That'll so, be fear, man. Stop sharing location. Don't yeah, text me yeah, no way. Yeah. I see. I don't even. She. She was fool. She was like, "All oh, you could ask for away." To this day, that's and that's and that's Jakarta's best friend. That's Jakarta, bro. Hella cool, supportive. Was there for me. Fucking whatever I needed, she got me. And you were still she never asked me to share location. And you're still busy. She for sure went through my phone. <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing you could do. Yeah. The worst thing you could like, do. Feel like a busca way. You know what I mean? Like whoever looks fine, perro. So I don't look. <laughs> I never go through a phone. I used to, but I was uh, on me. That's a, eh, still some on some tactical stuff, right? Yeah, no, hundred percent. So what you said right now, does it go back to like, yo, you know what the fuck you bring to the table that you don't? If you find, ah, it is what it is. Yeah, yeah, like like a hundred percent. But I'm I'm also like fool, like <laughs> you're a Pisces. Yeah, like yeah, <laughs> that too. But I was talking to a girl and she wasn't doing shit. Oh. Like you just want to go drink? Like what the fuck? Like I'm talking about this girl, bro. Has a degree. As, bro, Jakarta, someone I'm lying. Bought a career. Bro, she probably, she, this year, she probably gonna make more money than me. I just got a report list. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but she, her shit, like, decree, she booming, fool. She booming. And she wanted to go She don't party. fucking need me. And she, like, she didn't give a fuck away. That's the type of fool, like, that's like, like, it was just like, damn. Like, no. but, 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 but I'm not an asshole. I was like, my mom loved there. My sisters loved there. My niece and my nephews. Is it hard for you to bring people around? Like, like if you meet, if you meet somebody, if you meet a like significant other, you're dating her at that time. Is it hard for you to bring them around your people, your your environment, or like do you yeah, hold yeah. off on it? So my mom had a player with it. Like my mom don't want to fucking around. 
She'll like say hi, just leave real quick. Like, <laughs> like she'll be like, she'll next, and then I'll get a text like, ya vas otra vez, you know what I mean? Es and then, and then, and then like, cause some bitches come, but they gotta leave. Like, all right, we done, you get the fuck out. Here's your Uber. Like, <laughs> no. we, we had a great time. Yeah, we had a great time. You know, pick your promise, get the fuck out. <laughs> I'll text you when you get home. And then, and then yeah, yeah, like, for let me know when you get home. Text yeah. me the whole time. What if the Uber's creepy? You know what I mean? Yeah. But then there's something that gets spend as, the But night. as soon as you get there, just don't. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's stop. it. We done just, for. Just stop. But, like, I always test them with my friends. That's key. The homie Paul lost, like, two girls. She, she didn't make it through the friend group. Because she going to get there. And if she walk in the homie's house and don't say hi to everybody, all the homegirls like, fuck that bitch. We don't fuck with her. We don't fuck with her. <laughs> we, we, we don't like her no more. And, okay, cool, right? Let's say she passed that test. She walks in and says hi to everybody. All right, now the clowning starts, right? Ooh. You get, so you yeah. get found fucking art. Oh, se pasan de verga, wey. <laughs> so what? Fool, fool, like art right now, right? Let's say you go, for like, example, right? Yeah. Like, let's say, let's example, like, let's say your girl got dirty vans on. The homie's gonna throw a low blow. Show the van. <laughs> and then they're gonna be like, okay, okay. Let me see my shoes? I'm yeah, good. yeah. I'm good, I'm still Look, good. But they're gonna do the, they're gonna do the, the little joke, right? Yeah. And then, and then, and then the homie's gonna start whispering how, how bad she looks. They're always gonna find something wrong. She got a big forehead, she got a weird mouth, one hand's bigger than the other. They're gonna start, right? If she come up and say hi, she got fucked up teeth, it's a rap, bro. Yeah, it's a rap. They're gonna be like, oh. And if she can't withhold that, damn, just she be kick rocks. rocks on. And then, and then, if she turns around and got no ass, perro. They'll just walk by and be like, where it at? They'll do stupid shit, fool, like. Se, <laughs> se pasa de verga, fool, like, and then, oh, oh yeah, fuck. and if she, so like, or if she taller than you, and if you come with a chunky girl, it's a rap, perro, the opo is a rap, fool, hey, he, look, look at him, look, he's just like, fuck, like, four, or even like, I have homies here that dated Bob before, had a thing for a little Bob's, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, he's like, don't fucking hey, start. Don't hey, start. So, so if the homie know your bitch suck dick before, somebody that we know is a rap, boo, they're like, they're like, damn, for all the homie dick takes way. <laughs> you could like her so much, but you can never live through the fact that she was once a slut. And it's cool. I'm, I'm, I'm all with women doing what they got to do. They got needs. But do it where they don't know you so nobody, because they never go full circle, right? <laughs> like, bro, if I fuck around with one girl from a group, it's going to, it's, now I'm popping, so the group friend will fuck with me. <laughs> But before, if I fuck with one girl, and none of them gonna fuck with me because I already fucked the one. Yeah. It's the same thing with guys, bro. Like, it is, it is. you know what I mean? So yeah, I think it's important day. So so they gotta make it through the friend group. But I think it's key. Take take it, take it back to the whole yeah, environment yeah. thing. Yeah, right? yeah, I think it's key for sure that she walks in and says hi to everybody. I think that's important, it is. even for guys. Like, but the clowning is where, because my homies, we didn't grow up with shit. To my friends, if you have two parents, you're privileged. <laughs> oh, you got two parents? Oh, you. I'm privileged. Yeah. We're, we're Definitely privileged. had it made. We're oh, privileged. Jakarta, here's another. Jakarta and Pud, they're privileged. They got two parents. They're still together. They're on. The homie, one of his dads left him for a whole other family. My dad left me for crack. The other <laughs> homies, like, fool, like, fool, you, fool. They hear it all, fool. Like, all right, like. There, there's, there's no restrictions to there's, your friend group. The Nothing. only thing we don't talk about, fucking the only thing, for the only thing we, we don't talk about is our moms. Like, like, cause I know a lot of friend groups that be like, "Oh, your mom this." We, we don't play with moms. Anything else is a go, pero like. I think if, if I'm correct, it remind correct me that there's on your personal blog you talked about one time getting down with your homies. Oh yeah, I get down with the homies all the time. <laughs> so, but like it's like now nah, we're like we're a little older. different. Yeah. But like, but like, I have a one homie that I squabble on like since the the day we met. I was 13. He was 12. We don't fight at least twice a year because I felt disrespected or he felt disrespected. Tell the death, my dog. Shout out my boy Evro. Like he's like, like, like yeah. we we didn't squabble about everything. Jakarta seen us fight too. Like, but <laughs> like, cause I think I pulled up and he was with like a group of bitches in the whip and they had the tank, they had the Nazi in it. I don't know, but they was doing their shit. And he was just being hella loud at the block. And I'm like, fool, don't be loud. He's like, shut the fuck up, don't tell me what the fuck to do. And he's like, man, get the fuck out. I ain't going nowhere, fool. We from the same block, boy. It's my shit, too. He's like, you finish on top of way? I'm like, bro, shut the fuck up. You and a ugly ass bitch. I was talking shit. Like, what, bitch? Shut up, fool. We're going at it. Damn. He has this balloon. He's like, you want to get down then? And we start squabbling. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> so, fool, we don't know. He's with the bitches. He laughs. 
Me and the homie could fight it, but nobody could laugh unless you're from the center, from the block. Like, fuck you laughing for, food. No, so you think you. it's funny? Now the homie took off on him. Boom, boom, <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Like, why are you laughing? Yeah, yeah. He <laughs> took off on him. Just, we're good. So he's squabbling. No, he's fighting me. And then, you know, I kind of sock him. He socked me. I sock him. We kind of back up. Okay. And then I hear a boy go like, <clears throat> like he smirked. <laughs> now what the fuck you laughing for? The homie just turned around and started bombing. You laughing at me and my brother getting down? Boom, 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 boom. And we were going to hop him. The homie goes, save them. Nah, fool, he's a homie. And we're and, and they're cool. We, me and the homie hug it out. I fucking kiss him in the forehead. A little shortly, I kiss him in the forehead <laughs> like I love you. You know, like we cheers to whatever the fuck. Yeah. And then the homie just turns around and goes like, hey, fool, you, do you feel the type of way because I just socked you? <laughs> he's like, yeah. He's like, let's get down. They start scrabbling and the homie beat him up. <laughs> but yeah, I, I for sure fight the homie all the time. It's, it's a I, movie. You're it's fucking a movie. Li- so, bullshit aside, I mean, this is first time meeting each other and your, your homies are here and everybody's here. Your life is really just a movie. Like I just can't block everything. <laughs> Trust, boy. If we can block everything. Oh, uh, yeah, for some edits, got to go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't record that. Please don't Yo, record no, that. I, I be having t- My cameraman already knows, but when there be other cameramen, I'll be like, hey, fool, tell your cameraman to cut it out. Like, what are they? <laughs> hey, we turn t- it off right now. Yeah, Hold on. Yeah, yeah, the homies are going crazy, but I just cut it. I got it. Like, you know what I mean? So from, from, and the whole thing with the audience, I think that you have is obviously like uh, 25 under and just fools that going through your lifestyle, loving your lifestyle. There's a thing about people gaining friends, losing friends, trying to fit in with friends, and oh, well, fuck, because this will tell me no, that I'm not going to do it. Um, you doing the whole platform, what would you tell them? Um, like tell the people that are losing friends and gaining friends? Trying to fit in with everybody because no one likes what they're doing or no one believes, that, oh, oh, that shit could oh, work. Oh, get new friends. <laughs> Like, like, for real, but like, I was blessed with good friends. Yeah. Like, my friends are supportive, so, bro. Bu- Bush it aside, like, be- before you were this personnel? Yeah, they yeah. were my best friends. That's f- like, like, bro, like, that like got real to, life. Got like, to, got to, got like, to. Like, 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 they were my best friends. Like, 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 I was living with my sister at the moment. I hated that. Not, for not that I hate my sister, but I just wasn't comfortable. It was like seven of us in a fucking single way. Like, the fuck? Like, yeah. I'm already older, like. I'm trying to do my shit, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I'll go sleep at the homie Dandy's house. He had his own room, and I felt comfortable there. Like, everybody, bro, everybody you see around me, I didn't struggle with, you feel me? Like, swear to God, anything I love. Maybe I met a little couple people, like, a little after. Like, I met Port a little after and shit like that. Jakarta, I, I met him still when I was, like, going through the shit. But other than that, like, everybody you see with me, bro, started like, from, gave me a ride somewhere. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Literally. I mean, we still not there, but we a little love. Perfectly imperfect, right? So, everything you're doing, no jumper, podcast, your own YouTube channel. Yeah. Since elementary, high school, did you ever see yourself fucking getting paid to fucking party, go travel the world? New York, New York was a fucking movie, and if you haven't, you got to go check out that vlog. Oh, yeah, New York was amazing. That was probably, like, the first I've been from home. Whoa, shit, I went to Atlanta, but Atlanta was cool, but New York, like, like that's really, like, you know, like, I'm pretty sure people from New York see, say that about L.A., but New York's a vibe, bro. Like, <laughs> I went more on a business trip, but I fuck with it, fool. Like, yeah. I like the code. You, the you, girl's different. Like, it's a vibe, fool. You, you met the people that, that are, that we see, like, oh... That are just striving on social media, you they fucking took you all around. Oh yeah, and, oh yeah, the homie Byron. Yeah, Byron. Yeah, yeah. What you want to <laughs> tell you? Yeah, that's my guy, man. Shout out Gorilla Nam, fool. Like, shout out the homie um TF. He tapped us in. Yeah. So so how does? Have you ever taken a step back, and really just fucking analyze everything that's happening in your life right now? Cause you're how old did you just turn last? Like I just turned twenty two on March, two thousand baby. Yeah, boy, yeah. Fucking doing it, bro. Cheers, 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 so, cheers. Cheers, everybody. Bam. All right, we're still good. We're still good. So, everything happening, have you ever analyzed, like, yo, like, how is this happening? Have, did, do you feel like you did it? Have you gave yourself props? Have you gave yourself the flowers at one point? Like, yo, like, I'm really fucking doing it right now. Um, I think, I think it's still going to take a little time, like, I really want to do this movie shit, fool. Like, this acting shit is really... I've been blessed. I was part of a movie. It was, like, a very low budget, very, like... It was kind of like a independent film. Mm. 
it was such an experience. It taught me a lot. And then I just did another movie. I don't know if you know who Concrete Live is. No, no, no. Concrete is Concrete, the homie Jay Valentino. Shout um, him out, shout him out. Yeah, Follow. Jay Valentino, the homie Jerry Garcia. All Latino film. It's called yes. The Chata with Omega. It should be coming out this year. That's fucking and, dope. And we just talk about everything, boy. Like, we, um, I'm like, um, I saw have a big part. Yeah. I'm one of the main ones. That's I'm, right. I'm the little brother. Yeah, man. Shout out my guy. So, so, shout out everybody. So, yeah, doing that movie, it was like a bigger budget. It was dope food, but we grinded away. Like, and all in total, we did like 20 days food, 12 hour days, pero grinding food, filming. We did do a, it. Do we, it. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Like, it's not, it's the same shit. But There's a director. Shout out my boy OV. Nah, do it this way. Nah, do it here. Do it that. And it's. It's hard, but I did it. We the, did it during the summer too. The the blessing that I had of trying to play college soccer, I didn't make the actual team, but I made a commercial. We did Dicks, Dicks oh, Sporting yeah. Goods. We oh, did okay, like yeah. an Adidas commercial. I was fired. <laughs> Literally spent, uh, what was it like, fucking twelve hours from eight in eight at night to eight in the morning, and literally was like, all right, we're gonna spray water, act like you're running. All right, this corner kick, keep doing it. And we're like, fuck. All right, cool. And then it came out, and I was like, yo, I'm on camera for one mi- one second. That shit took 12 hours. I made it. Nah, it's a year. Two days, yeah. Fuck yeah. It took 24 hours to make a 30-second clip. I was like, you guys are bullshit. Nah, man. yeah. So I did the shit, boy, and, and um, damn, I fumbled a couple. I fumbled one big movie, dog. I fumbled it. God, so How better. How did you fumble it? Fool, that shit hurt my heart, boy. <laughs> I went home. I put my head over the cover like, damn. But, um... Yeah, bro, bro. Um, so y'all know who Joe Coy is? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's my big brother right there. Tapped in, gave me the movie role. When he gave me the audition, I got the movie role. The director behind it is Steven Spielberg. I get the movie role, pero. Jakarta, I get the movie role. I'm calling everybody. They just call me. You got to go to Canada. I'm on the phone like, yeah, boy, we on. I come back. I'm like, we going to Canada, bitch. We on, boy. <laughs> we made it. It's during COVID, for I don't have a passport. Canada don't want to expedite my shit. Oh. Fool. See, that's my favorite. Everybody here. <laughs> Fool, boy. I'm I like. Hope, I really hope the whole fucking audio caught that because everybody's like, ah. Oh. Pero, I was like, <laughs> he got the call. I said, I'm my big brother. He gave me the opportunity. I took it. I fumbled it, though. But because my manager was telling me, go get your pass. I'm, I'm going to go tomorrow, fool. I'm going to go tomorrow. I'm going to go tomorrow. Damn, pero, that shit broke my heart, fool. Uh, I was like, fuck. And then they tell me the director. They said, boy, they're like, yeah, boy, the Jurassic Park. I said, wait a minute. I looked boy up, and I was like, damn. And then I got the call, fool, like, hey, you got it. I need this, this, and this. You, you have to leave the Canada tomorrow. The next two days. I'm 21, fool, what the fuck? Like, I'm like, man, I got to go to Canada, boy. I'm like, two months without my mom, I don't know how I'm going to do it, pero. <laughs> What the fuck? What's you know what's going on? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, shit, okay. I'm like going back and forth. I wake up that morning happy, fool. I, like, I've never done this before, but I was, I ran through the house and slid and shit, like, yeah. And like, I was, I was, oh, boy, I was feeling myself. I was taking a shit, calling everybody, like, perro, we did it, fool. Like, we made it. Like, yeah. like, like, we're going to be in the red carpet with dicks on, perro. Like, I'm telling the homies, you're getting it cracking. You have a pro club. Sponsorship, no? Yeah, yeah, man, we got a collab coming out. Hell yeah, shout out Pro Club. I saw at your party you had a whole Pro Club. Yeah, yeah, Pro Club K2. Shout out my guy Brian. That's right, that's right. Let me show you. Fucking Jakarta Pro Club though right now. Yeah, 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 come on. You looking fresh, you looking fresh. He ready to go. Yeah, he ready to go. But nah, man, it was, fuck, I was sad. I was like, I was like, what you mean? I was like, what you mean? I don't get the motherfucker. (laughs) Damn, I went home, I fucking, if I even bummed like, like fucking sleepwalking, I was sad, away. But, it's a lesson learned, man. I'm blessed. I got my passport now. <laughs> Where do you want us to go? We're ready. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to act right now, bro. Mm-hmm. But yeah, man, <laughs> shout out everybody on my team. But it's just progressing, bro. Like, I'm not near to where what the fuck I want to be. Like, I've been working on hella stand-up comedy. I got this going. I got this going. I got that going. I just, um, I'm about to audition for another movie role. So I'm excited for it. Shout out my brother AD. He tapped me in with some player shit, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, then, and then, fuck, I got to speak Spanish in the movie. So, so I'm ready for natural, it, you feel me? Natural. Um, yeah, I got the Orchata with Omil coming out. The collab with, with Pro Club is really what I'm excited about. We did some dope shit. Um, so I, did, like, I know we're short on time, but I really, like, yeah. you, did you work Pro Club when you were coming up? Oh, yeah. So, so now that you're That was cheap. So now that you... <laughs> now I get boxes, fool. I get too much Pro Club now. So how does that feel? Like, 
young wearing it and like, all right, this is like this is it. Like uh, how you said, it's cheap, it's it's affordable. But now that these motherfuckers are fucking, yo, we're collabing. Oh yeah, this man is a blessing. That's fucking. The homies always come up to me like, give me a poke club. <laughs> I'm like, fool, they only send my size, but hey, I'm a two X. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I'm telling him to tap in with you. He'll come fuck with you. No cap. I'm I'm, I'm for real. No cap. Yeah, I'm gonna tap you in. But yeah, man, it's a blessing working with Pro Club. I've worked with a couple companies, bro, that that I've never thought I would ever. Like, you know what I mean? With, yeah. Like I've had meetings with, with people. I used to be like, "Damn, that's you right there." <laughs> I ain't gonna be wanting to touch him and shit. Like yeah, you yeah. real? <laughs> yeah, poke you real yeah like bro, like like I met Mozzie briefly, but we had him at no jumper at the end of the day, yeah. and I made fun of Mozzie for two hours, bro. <laughs> Called him ugly, all types of shit. Doing your thing. Doing my thing, and he. Blah, blah, blah. I'll fuck with you. You know what I mean? But yeah, it was a vibe, fool. Like, I'm blessed, but I just want to keep striving, bro. Like, I mean, me and the No Jumper team, we got the No Jumpers throwing their first live show on May 2nd. So yeah, man, we I'm excited for May 2nd. It just it just got announced. Well, I'm going to announce it here first, but you guys know who Psycho Ram is? Yes, sir. I'm, I'm hosting Psycho Ram in Pomona. You yeah. feel me? Yeah, 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 yeah. We got to. Yeah, fuck. I'm hosting Psycho de Mayo. Sick Jack and call me himself. I saw y'all the video after. But yeah, Sick Jack and call me himself. Real, real downtown LA baby shit. He from downtown LA. We got that crack in. We got the vlogs. We got the podcast. The brown bag. It's, it's, it's coming, boy. We, 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 I'm, I'm working, but I'm like, you know what I mean? Hit, hit, hit us with one last gem. One last gem? One last gem. It's your passport. <laughs> For real. Damn, you should have seen how sad I was, fool. Because look, I thought Canada was like Mexico. You know, because cause right now I could drive to TJ with my California ID. Yeah, cross back. Over. Don't let me in. Come back. Canada said, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> When you got to Canada, you got to quarantine two weeks. And fool. Oh, that shit was gotcha. No, I was, I was, I was gotcha. sad, perro. I was like, <laughs> but yeah, nah, get your passport. Stay true to yourself. Um, I'm going to the gym now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, swimming, yeah. going to the gym. I'm trying to get a little I more poppy. That. You want to try to get under 30 seconds? Yeah, man, because I, I swam my whole life, I play water polo, and I and I and I've been like, I heard I heard swimming's the best cardio. Growing up, I just I was having fun playing water polo and swimming, so I never thought about like, oh, I'm losing weight. It was just like, <laughs> hey, I gotta play, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But now I'm like, I'm trying to be on my more health as well. Shit, shout out to homie DJ Lechero, he one of the big inspirations. You want, and, you want the longevity? Yeah, you be like here a long time. Yeah, as long as this and then bro, for. it's it's honestly the little things that matter. Like I want to be a little more comfortable on planes. I want to fly shit to fit me a little better. You know what I mean? It's getting there. It's progress, bro. Like, yeah. I get girl, but I'm going to just give it more now. You know what I mean? I want to, you feel me? Fashion like, over tap in, yeah, man. Yeah, fashion, fashion over tapped in. They tapped in before. Ooh. They tapped in before, but I didn't accept the bag. <laughs> they were trying to bullshit me, bro. Your worth. Your worth. Yeah, but, they could, worth. but they could tap back in. <laughs> we more cracking. Yeah, Cardi B, come fuck with your boy. You know what I mean? Shit. But yeah, now nah, we working, bro. I'm blessed. I'm but the goal really this year is just to keep striving, movie roles, movie roles, shows, commercial. I'm with it all, fool. Yeah. If Chipotle need me to run a mile with while eating a Chipotle bag, I'm with it. You know what I mean? We working, but it was one and before we end this, and for one, me, the team, we wanna give you a huge fucking thanks for tapping in with Oh the, yeah, come on. This on. So we Funny. Gotta, come on, like, but I only tap in with the real for real. So, so Honestly, and be as a side for the plug that that spoke spoke our name uh, to you. Oh, yeah, the plug. Yeah, the plug. <laughs> We're gonna shout out the plug that spoke our name in first. Yeah, yeah. I literally, she told me, and I was like, look, I'm glad you 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 throw our name in there. I was like, work is gonna be work. Like. We're gonna be ready when it's coming. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna be authentically ourselves. Nah, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Shout out the plug. <laughs> shout out the plug. Shout out the plug. But. Honestly, I'm very happy. I'm very grateful and very inspired of what Appreciate you're doing. You. Everything you're doing because you are a true fucking pioneer to our generation, to our culture. Nah, 100%. Just everything you're doing. Appreciate and you. if all the movies that are yet to come out and need, need some fucking great ass motherfuckers to be on there. My God, you gotta tap in. It. Yes, sir. You gotta tap God. in. So yeah. whatever you guys got drinking, when this airs in the morning, if you're watching it at night, whatever it is. Gotta tap in. And cheers to life. Yes, sir. Yeah, my God. Cheers, 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 cheers. Everybody. My God. Toast, man. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. And you guys, make sure all this shit goes a long way. You leave a fucking question mark in the comments, the analytics go up. All that shit goes up. All that shit matters. The likes, comments. So make sure, even if y'all comment a bunch of dots, 
his fucking it's algorithm going. is gonna go like this because people the comments are coming. Nah, for real. Like I be telling people, like tell people to fucking comment. Yeah. You gotta I don't care if you call me fat, ugly, you don't like the jacket, comment the shit. Subscribe to all the channels, follow yeah. the platform. TikTok just hit 20,000. Oh, yeah, YouTube TikTok hit 20,000. Yeah, come on. TikTok hit 20,000. YouTube is on the way to 700. Yo, we are just fucking starting. What's yet to come, we're changing the fucking narrative from what people told us we could be. Yeah, 100%. And, and it's only the beginning. Yeah, so, man. And shout out your team behind you, your girl, your baby, you know what I mean? Shit. Clap it up for them too as well, bro. That was beautiful. Yes, sir. Tap. Shout out Aldo for fucking tapping in with us, letting us use his spot. Yeah, this shit is people. fresh in here. Hey. I be going to the homies, poor barbers. I should be hot as a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I be sweating, boy. Yeah. Hey, boy, we're going to have to have a conversation after, brother. <laughs> nah, this shit fresh, though. This shit player, man. Appreciate y'all, though, for dude, having me. Dude. I told him, I was like, yo, if we're all, if I'm coming up and we're getting some some views, we're all we're all getting the light. Oh yeah, come on, yeah, boy. We're, we're coming in, we're coming in as, as a team, as a culture, we're making the movement, we're pioneers. Yo, it's it's just motherfucking starting. Hell yeah, Latinos, keep doing your shit, man. It's our time right now. Love us, hate us, yeah. but we are who we are. Yeah, exactly. I'm him. Brown and proud, you know what I mean? Yes, sir. So tap in. It's those live podcasts, you know what I mean? Yes, sir.